Hello there. Good morning, good afternoon, or whatever time it is out there in the place where you are. I'm Reverend Edith Washington Woods. I'm the senior minister here at Unity San Diego, and I'd like to welcome you to our Monday meditation series. And my shirt is kind of weird right now. Okay, that's better. Today we're going to be talking about our divine inheritance. Do you know we have a divine inheritance? An inheritance is something that I believe we, you know, like sometimes we inherit things from, from other people who have come before us. And if we could imagine that, who came before us is the spiritual essence of the universe as demonstrated by Jesus the Christ and other ascended masters. That our divine inheritance really is that each of us are children of the universe, children of God, if you will. Now, it's God as we understand God, and some um, have their own conception of God, and that's totally fine, in my, in my opinion, that whoever we choose to call God is, is okay. Because the essence of, of who God is is really unconditional love, love for everyone, love for all things, love for the planet. And what does it take for us to, to have love radiating out from us in everything that we do? That love has to come from within first in order for it to be out in the outer. That the love that we have is part of our divine inheritance. And if we are not experiencing love, peace, joy, and tranquility, then what is it that we need to do to release? To release things that may not, you know, be, be loving. Those things that are not really serving our highest good, which is to be pure love in action. How do we become pure love in action? Well, if divine love is our birthright, then we're part of it, aren't we? We're part of this kaleidoscope of beingness that has us know that love is all there really is that we are part of how love shows up. And we get to do that day by day, moment by moment. So today again, we're focusing on our birthright as divine love, divine inheritance, that love is part of who we are. So when I think about love, I, I look out I have this beautiful view outside of my office here at Unity San Diego, and I see the green trees. <clears throat> I see tops of apartment buildings and homes, and every now and then I see a car going by. There's a, a, a playground kind of park area, a little small, small park, and sometimes I'll see someone, I don't see anyone right now, but sometimes I'll see someone walking or I'll see children playing. And I think about that as being love in action. That the universe blessed us to have trees, to have <clears throat> homes and cars and buses and everything that our eye can take in. And what if divine love is that which we are, the home which we live in, the things that we purchase that we feel drawn to, what if that's divine love in action? So we're going to take that into prayer, asking for more love to show up in our lives and to know that if we're not feeling love right now, that maybe we're here to call for love. Maybe we're here to be the example of love in action. And how do we do that? We can do that with people that it's easy for us to love and people who might not be so easy for us to love because love is being called right now for each of us to do that practice, to practice love in action as our divine 
inheritance to know that that is our birthright. So let's take this into a time of prayer. Let's pray. Spirit, loving presence, God of our own understanding, we come together on this day letting go of everything we need to let go of. Just letting go of everything we need to let go of. And know right now that we are inheriting as our divine birthright being the image and likeness of God. That each of us who come to this space and those who are not in our space right now that we all are part of this kaleidoscope of beingness. That we're each, each part of the divine landscape. And so we take a moment to acknowledge that and to ask for continued guidance to uncover and reveal more ways for us to love and be love in action. Hmm. And now we gently move into our time of meditation and I, I invite you to take a cleansing breath, a gentle cleansing breath, breathing in and gently breathing out. Breathing in and gently breathing out. One more time, breathing in and gently breathing out. Releasing, relaxing, letting go, letting God. And in this time as we move into some moments of silence, we say to ourselves, my divine birthright right, is love in action. My divine birthright is love in action. My divine birthright is love in action. In the silence, we join our hearts together and go deeper into this space.
I am. I am love. I am love in action. Just take this into your heart as your own words. I am love in action. And in this moment of sacred awareness, we, we know that the love that is in our heart is radiating out throughout our whole body, giving thanks for everything that our body has done for us already today. And we continue to know that as we give thanks for our body, that it doesn't stop in our body, that it's radiating out from our body to fill up our homes, the place where we're at right now, filling it up with love and action. And it doesn't stop there, it is radiating out from within us because it is a vibration and that vibration is radiating out into this entire planet. Giving thanks for the love that we share. And now as we bring ourselves gently back to the space and time, may we remember that we each are love in action, that we say, I am love in action. that we know this is our birthright, that it is our divine inheritance to do that, to be that love in action. And if your eyes are closed like mine, I invite you to gently open them and just notice everything in the room where we are. Noticing each of us that are together here, whether we can see each other or not, to know that love is present because we are here. We give thanks for this moment that we share. I'm so grateful to have been with you on this Monday or whatever day it is you're watching this video. Thank you so much for being the love you are. Thank you. And so it is, amen and namaste. Bye for now.